of Solar 2, a game where you are space. So, uh, let's begin. I will begin by explaining, um, firstly, we are an asteroid, as you can see, with mass 2, and now we're mass 3. You grow wonderfully and happily because you are lonely asteroids by colliding with them until you reach mass 25. Oh, glitch down there. Yay. Okay, so... Oh, oh, missed. So this is a very passive uh, game. It's currently on Steam, I think, for £7. That was what it was when I bought it, so... Yeah, um... Obviously you have the logo here in the background. Space. And the idea is to grow. And look, now I'm a planet. And now I can click K, and I'll absorb the smallest thing I have. Or... I can click L, and absorb all the asteroids. So... Come hither, buddy. Come hither. You may also notice that there are two arrows around me. Um, one second, I'm just going to turn this down, because I can't hear anything. Options. Resolution. Music volume. Okay. Twenty. There we go. Apply. So yeah, you are now a planet. And as you start absorbing all of this, all of these nomi nomi asteroids, you grow to become a star. Now come here. As I was saying anyway, you can see there's a question mark down here, um, and up top left of me, there's like an asteroid sort of thing. These are quest markers, as you can see. So I'm just going to get a little bit bigger. And there's a sun over there. Now this game is actually harder than it looks to navigate. You use either the was keys or the arrow keys to play and then there's the K and the L. And that's pretty much it. And there we have a small star with a life planet and another planet around it. So yeah, our aim is to get to become a life planet. I believe the mass for life planet is 85. And oops, I just destroyed my asteroid buddy. Come on, buddy. There are two ways of picking up the asteroids. A, getting very close to them without crashing. Or just moving past them at not too big a speed and not hitting them. So there I was going too fast to pick up any. Good at doing these examples of sucking. So this is just absorb everything and I think that's a big star here. Ooh, it's a multi-large star. That is scary. Oh, and the planets are colliding. I'm going to run now. Come on, birdie. I just want to, I want to be a life planet, you know? Oh, don't want to hit him, don't want to hit him. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Was it 80? I think it was 85. No, it was 80. Okay. You have to get 80 to become a life planet. And see, I've got some evolution there growing. In the top left, I've got the evolution bar coming up. It's a very nice evolution bar right there. So yeah, um, oh no, no, that's a big asteroid. I want it, I want it. Mine, mine, mine. Wow, I've made this thing swing. Oh, oh, crashed into someone. 
Okay. Where's my asteroid? There we go. See, my life has now developed me some shields. And a nice little ship there. And my mass continues to grow. So, let's try and become a star, shall we? Uh, firstly, in this series, or in this series, I'm going to be completing the whole thing. I'm going to be going to uh, a black hole, which is quite a lot of fun. Oh, and as you can see there, I just hit that asteroid. So, obviously, the life on my planet is like, these things are killing us. Let's kill it. So, they obviously start shooting all of the asteroids around me. Which is not very nice because I want to grow. And I also think at some point they figure out that, um, yes, yes, species, kill them. Yeah, getting kills for my life. I have no idea what EXP kills does. Oh, I think it upgrades my, um, ow. I think it upgrades my life. The, uh, what's it called? Right, the species, there we go. The species on my planet. Like, upgrades itself. There we go. Good boy, good boy. Um, I have a good example of that. Just one second. If I quickly do here. Firstly, basic respawn. So you go from asteroid small planet to I think that's medium star to multi star neutron star black hole you have to um, unlock these like you actually have to be them to be able to unlock them I mean and then you have saved systems so things that you've done so it's like I've got that star which I used to get an achievement six stars that's an achievement you also get one for 40 but um, two stars two planets that was a fun one two stars, I don't know why I have that or not that, and my favourite life planet, as you can see it's got the four, or the circle on the planet, like the four bars are lit up, that means I have ultimate lives, so if I just respawn as this system, see I have four turrets on me, and I also have um, more green ships floating around, I believe, see my XP bars filled, that's what decides it, um, so yeah, anyway, uh, back to becoming a star, yeah, let's become a star, nice mummy star, and obviously it's like the food chain, um, asteroids just go with asteroids, Planets eat asteroids. Yeah, I got a mega ship. Oh, I am about to become a star. You ready for this, guys? Now, asteroids also hurt you. Well, they they mega hurt you now. So L no longer works. Uh, so you're gonna have to use K to absorb your smallest planets. And going from small star to medium star is like the easiest part of the game. As you can see, there are now more um, challenging things, different challenging things as well. Um, that's because. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm losing my mind a little bit. Like, what to say? <coughs> it's because every like stage has its own quests so like asteroid has its own quests and then oh I'm a medium star yay um, then planet has its own quests but planet and life planet have the same quests because they're both planets then stars have their own quests and that goes from like single small star to 40 neutron stars they all have same quests 
because they are all stars. So, yeah. And uh, Black Hole doesn't have any quests. Its only desire is to eat everything. And I'm being chased. Oh my god. Ah, 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 there we go. They are evil. Flying asteroids at me. I don't have to do that. I'm a star. Star, for goodness sake. I don't know if I'm on that. On the planet, though. Planet. 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 Good boy. Another planet. Another planet. Another planet. Another planet. Another planet. And it's just evolving. No. So I think there's definitely there's a market for this game. There's something in it that not many other games have. Um, I've never seen another space simulation game where you are the planets. Um, I know of a couple like online Java games where you get to create black holes and then pour sand in them and see how the gravitational pull affects everything. But nothing quite as in depth as this. Anyway, this is quite a bit of fun. Um, the only bad things I've heard about it are literally there is a limited amount of stuff to do. I mean, once you become a black hole, yes, it's fun. But then you have to start, ooh, I'm a large star. Then you need to start completing all of the like, challenges and stuff. Um, the challenges are pretty fun. Some of them are quite difficult. The finest ones I've come across... Um, are like you have this like overall universe god that sort of appears as a face at the bottom of your screen and like talks to you when you do missions. I'll go find him. I'll show you through here. Um, and at one point he says, "Let's have some fun. I'm going to throw some asteroids at you." Um, and you're like, okay, so he flings like four missiles at you, and then you have to outrun them and blow them up, even though they don't explode. Um, and then, let's just cancel that. And then once you've done that, he's like, okay, the no, four was fun, but as we know, big was better, so then he throws 40 at you. And you're like, oh my god, what the hell, how am I meant to survive this? But anyway, yeah, you try a few times, you complete it, he's all like, la 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 la. And then he's like, I'm going to go for bigger is better again. And then starts throwing stars at you. And obviously you're a planet. And you're like, what the hell? This is going to like... Oh. Uh, well, that was fun. Let's go to shave systems. Let's go to this one. Which one is a system? Uh, first of all that and now we want to destroy the other star. Here we go. Let's collide it with this. Boom. Ah. Hit my small star. Strip planet. Anyway, yeah, as I said, this game is ah oh, very difficult to uh maneuver. Very Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Now I'm just a neutron star, which is a step up from the large star. So we're back on track. Oh, they fired missiles at me. There we go. Uh, where was I? Yeah, he throws stars at you. And then after you've completed that, and you've survived all the star throwing and stuff, she basically survived by just travelling in the same direction for ages and dodging ever so slightly to miss the stars. Um, and trying to use their gravitational pull to avoid the other stars coming at you. Uh, once you've done that, he's like, well, until I figure out how to throw galaxies and universes at you, I think we're done here. And then you've completed the set of missions. Which everyone's very happy about, because you're like, yay, no, no, don't want that, don't want, don't want, don't want. Get away from me, planets. So, yeah. Oh, oh. 
Damn it, planet, come here. Planet. So help me. There we go. Uh, best technique for this game is travel left or right pretty fast. Um, unless you have a weird monitor. As traveling left or right, you have a bigger plane of view. Like I can see further to my left and right than I can to my up and down. As that's a general monitor rectangliness. So you have more warning when you're about to hit something. You can do that, for instance. Ooh, planet. Anyway, back to going left. Um, so, quite a fun game. I'd say not as worth the money as I thought it would be. But definitely have a go at it. It's a lot of fun. It's a nice sandboxy game that you can just have a go at. Um, if you put some effort in, you can get like pretty big and just have a go at that. Come to me, planet. Whoa. Oh my god. See? And I've avoided it. I do like the sound effects in this game. Pretty cool. But yeah, there's a lack of space simulation games where you just get to be a planet or a star. And like, you can make up your own stories to it like you can have species that fit through these planets just excuse me the astrological obstacle course um, as I was saying like put some effort in get like good to it get some good systems and obviously I've shown you can save systems and stuff let me just save you there, buddy. Uh, I'm almost a black hole, guys. I'm so happy about this. Come on, buddy. There you are. Boom. So, yeah, it zooms out. It's all now a uh, black hole. And as you can see on the top left, it now says it's a big crunch. This is because of the theory, the big crunch. planet buddy. Oh hi, that just became a black hole. Yeah, the best way to grow when you're a black hole, eat other black holes. Cannibalism is the way forwards. I do like the system where you don't get like things like black holes when you're just an asteroid because otherwise you wouldn't be able to avoid it. Anyway, that see that red thing up there to my top right? Um, that's basically telling me there's a black hole over there that's bigger than you. Run away. So yeah, let's go to up one some stuff. No, no, no. Ooh, triple star system. Yes, please. Oh, one of the stars going away. Come back here. No, 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 no. Black holes, black holes, black holes, black holes, black holes. No, no, no. Oh, I'm a big black hole. See, isn't this fun? Don't you just want to eat everything? Oh, black hole! Oh, no, 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 you're the same size as me, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! And here we go, big crunch. Silence. And there's the godly thing. And you're back to an asteroid. So, that was the playthrough of the whole of that. Um, if I show you now, just quickly. You've got missions there, challenges, and the achievements to get through. I've done get a six star planet, reach the big crunch, um, have 15 asteroids, and grow to a black hole from a multi-star system. So obviously betray them. 
So yes, I will be covering those in the next few videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, leave a lovely, 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 lovely rating. Or thumbs up. Give me a like. Comment on it. Um, whatever you feel is necessary. It's always appreciated by me. Um, so yes, I will see you next time. And I will be getting on with some of the missions for you. Goodbye.